You know what you do when you have like chocolate doesn't taste very good? You ever have Reese's peanut butter cups? It's like delicious. You just get some peanuts and you eat some of the peanuts like this. You eat some of the chocolate. Now you mix it together in your mouth. Really good. You should try it. But don't eat chocolate, it's not good for you. So today it's raining outside, again. I don't feel like going anywhere. In fact, I don't feel like leaving my house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you guys a story about my house and about the worst real estate deal ever. Okay, so we had this brilliant idea. Well, actually, I had this brilliant idea and my sweetheart went along with me because she loves me of buying some investment properties. I wanted to buy some properties in Spain, but the market was going insane. Everything was way too expensive. So we bought some properties in France where she is from. And this was in Paris in 2006 and look how happy we were. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. We had a terrible renter to start. He trashed the place, didn't pay. Finally he left, thank God. We had insane community expenses and works. It was just out of control. It was like there was like a mafia there or something. And then after five years of managing our property, we went to refinance and we discovered that it just didn't make sense. Our expenses were so high that even though we even if we had the flats paid off, we still weren't making money. So we had to sell. Successful people in all occupations, all professions, and all callings have one trait which distinguishes them from the failures. It is their capacity for belief. The failures see the hole in the donut, but do not see the donut around the hole. So you can imagine, after this bad experience, my wife wasn't too keen on buying another property. Fortunate for me though, I took her for a walk one day and we just happened to walk by this property and she looked in and saw this garden. She loved it and she had to go inside and take a closer look because it reminded her of the garden that she had when she lived in London. So I had seen an apartment in this building but it wasn't actually the one that we bought. This first one was a little more expensive and everything needed to be fixed from top to bottom. And in the end we decided it was a little bit too difficult for us. But fortunately a few weeks later I found this other apartment in the same building. And this one was actually better for us because on this side you have tons of noise in a busy street. And on this side it's all quiet and there's an amazing view. It took a couple months to get it looking like I imagined it, but it was worth the wait. story is sometimes things just don't go our way sometimes we screw up sometimes we fail but failure is temporary and if you can learn from your failure it's not really a failure it's just a, a stepping stone to your success so just remember that next time you screw up on something <laughs>